Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where I talk about electrical installation work and electrical calculations. So if you work in the electrical industry here in the UK, I hope there's something here on my channel for you. Today I'm going to be talking about the 18th edition Amendment 2, which as I'm sure you're aware was published on the 28th of March 2022, so earlier this year. And on the 27th of September, so just a month away from the time of recording this video, the previous version of the wiring regulation, so that's Amendment 1 of the 18th edition, is due to be withdrawn. Now this is worded slightly different in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition. Edition. So what it says is that um, BS 7671 2018 plus Amendment 2 2022 requirements for electrical installations was issued on 28th of March 2022 and may be implemented immediately. BS 7671 2018 plus Amendment 1 2020 remains current and will be withdrawn on 27th of September 2022. And I think the reason that they did this was to uh, sort of reinforce the fact that you could use this book immediately. You could go ahead and work to um, Amendment 2 straight away as soon as it was published, or you could do it later on. But after the 27th of September 2022, the previous edition, so that's Amendment 1 of the 18th edition, will become withdrawn, and the new version, Amendment 2, will become the current edition of the wiring regulations that we all have to comply to. So that's pretty straightforward when it comes to new installation work that's installed after that date. But what about electrical testing? Let's say we're doing an EICR after that date on an installation that was installed before Amendment 2 of the 18th edition was issued. Let's say we're doing an electrical inspection on an installation that was installed to the previous edition of the 18th edition or earlier, maybe the 17th edition or even the 16th edition. What do we do in that situation? Do we do the testing to new regulations or do we test it to the previous regulations? So we always carry out electrical testing and electrical installation condition reports to the latest version of the wiring regulations. However, if you look very early on in the book, there's a note by the health and safety executive, and it says, installations to which BS7671 is relevant may have been designed and installed in accordance with an earlier edition, now superseded, but then current. That in itself would not mean that the installation would fail to comply with the Electricity at Work Regulations 1989. So what that means is that we wouldn't fail an electrical installation condition report simply because the installation wasn't designed and installed to the latest version of the wiring regulations. So if we're carrying out electrical testing on an existing installation that was installed to a previous version of BS7671, what we do is we carry out the testing work in accordance with the current version of the wiring regulations, and we fill out the forms in accordance with the current version and list any observations that there may be. But if there are observations that are non-compliant with the current version, but the installation overall complied with the previous version of the wiring regulations, then we wouldn't necessarily fail the electrical installation condition report. A good example of this is when it comes to RCDs. When I started out in the industry back in the 90s, um, RCDs were acquired in a home in situations where you had sockets that could be used to supply equipment outdoors, and it was required also for electric showers. Then the 17th edition came along and changed it and there was additional uh, requirements for uh, cables buried in a wall at a depth of less than 50 millimeters, uh, for cables that supply a shower or even pass through the shower room. Um, now, uh, moving forward, we're on the 18th edition. There were new requirements for RCDs for any circuit that supplies luminaires. And now in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition, there's now also requirements regarding the type of RCD that's selected. So the requirements for RCDs is just one example of a lot of changes that have happened over recent years, just in the time that I've been working in the electrical industry over the last 20 years. And so there are a lot of observations that you could put down on an electrical installation condition report just regarding RCDs that may not necessarily mean that the installation would fail an electrical installation condition report. So basically what we do is we test in accordance with the current version of the wiring regulations. However, non-compliances with the current version that weren't in place at the time the installation was installed, say if it was installed to the 17th or even the 16th edition, wouldn't necessarily mean that the installation would fail electrical installation condition report. Now, I'm lucky that I can remember all these changes that have happened over the last 20 years, but if you're new to the industry, obviously it may be difficult to remember all these um, changes. But one tip that I can give you today is if you look at the beginning of the regs book, that's, that's the latest book, Amendment 2, 2022, on page 8, there is an introduction to Amendment 2, 2022, and this is really, really useful to look at, and this will give you an overview of the changes that have happened since the previous version, and you may find this really useful. So it just goes through in the order of the different chapters of the book, so um, uh, protection against electric shock, protection against thermal effects, 
identification and notices is somewhere there, where there was changes, uh, protection, isolation, switching, control and monitoring. And you can see where the changes have been made because on the right hand side of the page there is a long black bar down the side and that is an indication that all of this is new. And so I would recommend that anybody, if you're carrying out electrical installation condition report, is to have a read through of this part of the regs book and it gives you a good overview as to the changes. Now I speak earlier on my channel about changes in the 18th edition and if you haven't seen that video already I'll put a link at the top of the screen and if you haven't done so already please click over here to subscribe to my channel.